So notice he says, you have to endeavor, which means that you have to passionately pursue this. You've got to, this is not something that's going to come easy for you to do. So for all of the people that are under the conception that when I get saved, everything's going to be easy. I need to bust your bubble right there and tell you that's a lie. I need to tell you that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Don't ever use Christianity as a means of escape because there's trouble on Christianity side too. If you ever use Christianity as a means of escape, then you are going to be brokenhearted. Because trouble comes on the Christianity side as well because tests and trials are allowed on the Christianity side. Trouble could not come if testing and trials were not allowed. Because that's what brings trouble, testing and trials. But because testing and trials are a part of the Christian side, I'm talking to my call folk, I'm talking to y'all that's got these callings and these people that are trying to figure out whether they got these callings. Listen, testing and trials are a part of this Christian walk. So if you think that there's not going to be any tests, there's not going to be any trials, you done already messed up. You done already messed up. You, 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 done, you done got some false information. I'm sorry, but I have to be the one to tell you. You got some false information. And see, and what happens is, is that, that what causes backsliding to take place. Most backsliders, if you talk to anybody that was actually in the Lord that backslid out, is usually because something did not go the way they wanted it to go. Something did not happen the way they wanted it to happen. So they found themselves walking away from God. They it just I, I I thought it was gonna be easier than this over here. I, I, I it's been hard. Oh, this this is tough over here. Uh oh man. I thought when I came over here that it was gonna be just beautiful and all because of the testimonies of things that you hear. But you got to hear out the whole testimony. That's the reason why I'm honest with y'all when I share my testimony. When I tell you about the places the Lord has brought me from, the things that I've had to encounter to come out of. I'm honest with you concerning those things. That's why you hear me talk about the things that I was in the past and all that kind of stuff that I had because you need to hear that side of it. It didn't not always get like this. The faith that I have now was not the faith I always had. Uh-uh, uh-uh. The belief that I have now was not the belief I always had, baby. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 The patience I have right now was not the patience Pastor Lee always had, sweetheart. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. The given nature that Pastor Lee got wasn't uh, no. That wasn't always her given nature, baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh. The integrity, that wasn't, uh, oh, oh, no. Shoot, no. That was not always her testimony that wasn't always but if a person all they hear is you talk about how where you are now yeah you know what I'm saying I got good credit now yeah they hear that okay but what about you know five or six years ago when you you, you wasn't paying them people like you supposed to you know, that old man, I just believe God. I just trust God for everything. I'm telling you. But what about uh, five years ago when you couldn't even believe God for uh, $75 on your light bill? What, 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 what about that? What about that? You know, oh, honey, uh uh-uh, baby, when I tell you I'm faithful and I'm committed to God, you hear what I tell you? It's for God I live and for God I die. Well, what about all them years you didn't live for God? And was about to die for the devil. See, you have to know the whole picture of what's going on. You have to see it from the whole perspective in order for you to get the truth of the matter. You know, what what, what about that? So that's the reason why I'm a whole preacher. I'm a whole preacher. I'm a whole preacher. I don't just tell you little parts of it. No, I'll tell y'all the truth about us. What? If you don't watch me now, I'll cuss a joker out. And that's just the God in heaven truth. Catch me the wrong way. I'm drop dead. I ain't, I ain't going to tell you no lie about it. God the Lord knows the truth about it. Catch me the wrong way on the wrong day. That's why I try to stay under the blood. <laughs> Don't you know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't too quick now to let you just run up on me any kind of way. I, 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 I'm still working on that. I'm serious. I'm just being honest. I'm still working on that. I'm, st- I'm still trying to find that other cheek that I pose to let jokers get. I'm still, I, I'm still looking for that cheek. If anybody find it, please let me know where it's at. I'm still looking for that other cheek I'm supposed to turn. Oh, God, help me, please. 
<laughs> please, you know, so I'm just being honest and telling you the truth. So I'm a round, I'm a well-rounded preacher. I'm a well-rounded preacher. So <laughs> that's what keeps me. I tell the truth. Uh, but um, so he says to them, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3, he says, endeavoring to keep <laughs> the unity of the spirit in the bonds of peace. So he says, look, you got to fight to keep the unity of the spirit. So, let's talk about this unity of the Spirit. What is this unity of the Spirit that we have got to keep? We've got to make sure that our spirit stays the same with Christ's spirit. Y'all just heard what I just said. I try to stay away from folk when I ain't feeling myself like I should. Because, you know, I don't want you to... You know, <laughs> every day ain't Sunday now. <laughs> I can't lie to you now. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Ooh, Dr. Kids got a song say, every day will be like Sunday. I'm still trying to get to Sunday. I think I'm, I think I'm in Saturday night, but I ain't quite made it to Sunday yet. Every day ain't Sunday, baby. Every day ain't Sunday. Out of 365 days in a year, I ain't going to tell you I'm good all 365. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. How you going to be good all 365 days when you got to deal with people? Don't y'all know I got children and they grown, but don't y'all know they get on my nerves sometimes? Boy, me and Fussy, boy, we, we, we like oil and water sometimes. You better hear what I'm saying to you. Because that joker think he can try me and I have to turn, baby. I have to turn to somebody so he know that I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm not the one. This ain't Pastor Lee, baby. This your mama. I'll put some grease on you. Go find you somebody to play with because I ain't safe. So, see, I have to, you know, I have to handle it from that angle sometime. So, I can't tell you that every day will be like Sunday. See, that's, that, that's the place where I'm trying to help some call folk tonight. That's the place where you get messed up at because, see, you done seen them folk over there that didn't let you see the whole truth of what was going on. See, they didn't let you see the struggles because they had this image they felt like they had to keep in front of you instead of letting you know the truth about things. They wouldn't tell you, they wouldn't tell you the truth about things. See, they wouldn't let you know that there was a big argument that went on inside the house and they barely could get along with each other. They wouldn't tell you that, see. They wouldn't tell you that part, but I'll tell you that part. Listen, yeah, we just got through arguing a while ago. I tell I tell the truth. God knows it. God knows it and it makes it better for people to know that in this life, there's going to be sometimes that things are not going to always be the way you want them to be. There's going to be some times where you're going to be angry. You tell me, how can you not be angry when the scripture says get angry but sin not? So you're going to get angry. So what's wrong with you? Why are you beating yourself up for getting angry? Do you not understand that a lot of times you get angry about an injustice? Anger is generally a result of an injustice, which means that something has happened that is not right. And that's why you are angry about it. Now, you do have some people that get angry about the truth, and that's because they are mad because the truth is being revealed. And so they, they, what, they didn't want the truth to be revealed, so they get mad. But most people become angry about an injustice. Think about the things that you get mad about. It's some type of injustice that's usually in it. But he says, listen, it's okay for you to get angry about the injustice. Just don't sin. So don't go over there and shoot them. It's okay for you to be upset about it, but don't go shoot them. You may have to wait to an opportune time to communicate with them, to talk about the injustice and what you don't like about it. Or maybe you're going to have to become an advocate on the behalf of the injustice. So if you see injustice going on where um, there is, uh, let's just say, battered women, you, you, you get mad every time, you know, you hear about a man beating a woman, you know, punching her like a punching bag or what have you. Well, then that, that, that doesn't, that doesn't mean you go and you keep.
kill that man because the thing about it is, is you, you don't have, you can't kill every man that's doing it. You would only kill that one man and then stop your life. But what you can do is, is you can set up an organization. You can be, set up a shelter that will help as many women as you can to get free of that type of situation. That's how you get angry, but sin not. That's how. I'm working on it, y'all. That's how you get angry, but say not. See, oh God. <laughs> Woo, I hope y'all ready for my truths, because that's all I know to give you. So, that's how you've got to make sure that you endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. See, the bond of peace is when my spirit is the same as God's spirit. That's when I have peace. That's when Delphine is at peace. So when I know that I'm not in the same spirit of God, I try to stay away from people. I, I It's about two days out of every year. This has been going on for about 10 years for me. I, 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 I still hadn't whooped it yet. But about two days out of every year, I get mad. Something I get mad about. It happens about two times out of a year. I generally, as I'm usually pretty good about, you know, I can kind of bring myself back to a place of peace. But like two times out of the year, and I've noticed this for the last 10 years or so, I get up, I get mad. And when I say mad, I mean like mad, mad. Like Ply said, oh, you big mad. Oh, yeah, I get big mad. That kind of man where I have to, somebody have to talk to me. You know, I literally got to, that's when I keep my apostle on my on my hip. You know what I'm saying? To be able to pour into me. So, to bring me to a righteous place. And a lot of times, this is what she'll do. I almost started crying. Because this is what she'll do. When that happens to me. Because I know how to call and get me some help. When that comes. Because... If I feed into it, I can jeopardize my ministry. Or I can jeopardize my personal life and my ministry. So you have to know how to keep somebody that can talk to you. And it needs to be somebody that you respect because you're going to tone yourself down while you're in their presence if it's somebody that you respect. So what she'll do is she'll hang on that phone. Even if I ain't saying nothing, she won't hang up. She will not hang up. If I'm not saying anything, or if I'm if I'm raging, she'll hang on that phone. She'll hang on that phone. She won't hang up. Until I can get back to a level place. Because generally that twice a year, I'm upset about something, boy. And I mean I'm upset about it. I'm upset about it. It's something where I want to get in behind you or you finna get in behind me. That type situation. And it's been like that. But she will not hang up that phone. She'll stay right there until she can. I get to a place where she can start talking to me. And then she'll say to me, okay, then tell me what happened. You know what I'm saying? What, why? Why did that make you feel like that? Lee? Lee, where did that come from? Why did that, you know, why did, did you let that affect you like that? And we'll talk through it to bring me back to a place of where I need it to be. You got to know who you got on your team, y'all. I'm telling you, you better be careful with who you have on your team. You better have the right person on your team that's going to help you to get through some things. I thank God for her. I thank God for her. I thank God for her. I do. I thank God for her. I'm telling you, she'll hang on that line. Boy, I'd be mad, too. I ain't going to lie. I'd be mad. I'd be wanting her to hang up. She won't. She won't. She won't hang up. Mm -mm. It has been time that she has called me. I didn't even get a chance to call her. She will call me and say, hey, Lee. Hey, Lee, you in my spirit. What's going on? I said, oh, I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm going to set this mother off in here. 
You that, that she oh wait a minute. <laughs> you know, she's learned now how to, you know, to deal with me, to bring me to a, a, a point, to get me to a better place. See, you know, yeah, I know y'all listen to me, y'all freaking out. Some folk will listen to this and try to charge me with it, but let me tell you something, baby. I don't bit more care. You can fly, take you some wings and fly on somewhere. Cause I don't bit more care. I don't hide my truth. You lying about yours, but I don't hide mine. That's the reason why you can't be a free Christian.